Hello. Um, oh, I'll give, give you an update on my Joshua Tree Dilemma. Uh, I started, I've decided to stay and put my sunglasses on. These are some old sunglasses. I got to adjust my... Oh, there we go. Come on, selfie stick. Now, there's no gimbal on here. I have just I discovered that the gimbals... Uh, well, they're good if you can re have money to replace them, but they're made out of plastic. And they have some mechanisms in them that... Uh, uh, they can break. They're not real durable. But anyway, while we're on the, we're on actually Skipper Street. We're a couple streets over from the old, the Lime Greenhouse. And uh, I want to get you out of the sun because I know the sun's coming up from the east. And uh, uh, in keeping with the Skipper Street, I wanted to tell you a story about well, I don't know if this is true, but this is a likely scenario. Uh, back in the 80s, early 80s, I got to really like in the show, TV show called Dallas. And uh, and they had a spin-off show called Knott's Landing. And it's a fictitious place, but if it was a real place, I was thinking this is the way it would go, is that the, the cul-de-sac where Gary and them lived is by the ocean. And how this community got its name is uh, back, you know, in the days of Cabrillo and uh, Santana and all the famous sailors. Okay, Santana wasn't a sailor. But anyway, there, were, there was a boat with some sailors on the ship. And the captain of the ship didn't want to pull in the shore. But all the sailors were tired. They were tired of, you know, raising the mast and like that. And... They would get, they got cl real close to this one area where the knots landing uh, cul-de-sac, they were in the ocean. And they, they pleaded with the captain, please, can we go to shore? And this was the captain's response. We is not landing. We is not landing here. And so from then on, that point of, of the shore, of the ocean where ocean meets the land, they named that Knott's Landing because that's where the skipper said that they weren't going to land, that we's Knott's Landing. So they decided to name it Knott's Landing. So that's my, uh, I've told that a couple times. I haven't really got too many chuckles. They just kind of give me a strange look. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, so I've decided not to move to Joshua Tree for the moment. Um, and, uh, it, my uncle still thinks I'm going to go, go up, do this, you know, because uh, I lived up there for 10 years and we had a good old time uh, hiking through the, which was then the Joshua Tree Monument. And he still calls it the monument. It's a park now. So it's um, Joshua Tree Park. And uh, uh, so, you know, the last time I talked to him, he was still talking about logistics of moving up there I could do this or do that but you know it, uh, it's, it's it's not gonna happen but anyway uh, uh, to tell you well I'm I'm on the way to the barber shop I got a barber shop and my gym is within walking distance so uh, I think this is still called Shep, uh, Skipper let me give you a little tour of the neighborhood here Now, I have to do a little report on my selfie sticks, which is, um, I got two of them uh, from B&H Camera. And the one I'm now, I've got the lesser expensive one. It's made out of plastic. And there is this, the bolt, or the fastening mechanism is steel. Uh, but uh, uh, it was, they, they both were, the whole thing was under 50 bucks for both of the, um, equipment and it's really not it's just a it's a cell phone holder and then it has a screw for you know there were no tripod screw so I'm using the that yardstick one I had before I don't have a mirror around here I could show you I don't know if you can see that no you probably can't see that through that it's not a mirror but anyway so I got two of them and uh, 
ready for my trip uh, that's going to be pretty soon. Uh, the, our Las Vegas uh, forecast. Well, the other day it was 117. Boy, this is a great um, gold golden medallion tree. They offer, oh, there's some more over there. There's some more golden medallions. They offered these to, uh, when they did the uh, undergrounding the utilities, they did that in 2005. And they had, they actually had a ceremony at the end of Mobley where the Mobley drops off into the lower part of Mobley. And uh, Donna Fry, she was the city council. And I think Dick Murphy was the mayor. But anyway, there's about 20 of them down there. We saw them down there when they had this ceremony. And we were the first district to get the uh, start the undergrounding, you know. And uh, and now if you look on the website, some of those undergrounding utilities go all the way up to 2077, all the way up to the 22nd century, you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's long overdue. And ours, they took a, a good two years to do it. And uh, and we found out we have a 800 PSI gas line that runs right in front of our house. And uh, we actually saw the pipe. And uh, let me cross the street here so I don't get killed. And uh, so, uh, and they actually, in 2014, they dug up the pipe and they did some repairs on it uh, while it was still in service, you know, because they can send these little robot things inside the pipe and, they, and with this high technology stuff, they can tell which sections of the pipe needs welding. So they're welding on the pipe on the outside while it's still in service. So that was pretty, and the only way I knew is I asked the guy, hey, what are they doing, you know? And I haven't told my neighbors. Oh, they know the pipes there, but they don't know about the weld, you know. But um, it was put in. It was installed in 1949, so they were due. They vote. They voted down a new transmission line. But anyway, um, that's because I'm Sarah Mesa Bob. I guess I told you that, um, and it's mostly accurate. Most of my reports are about. 87% accurate, so uh, I don't really check my facts too well. Um, oh yeah, so uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're still watching the weather report, and uh, you know, we've uh, we've canceled two Vegas trips. One of because I had my kidney stones that was in May, and the other one was in uh, June because of the they had a. The, the last funeral for Theron, they switched it. So that's why that one kind of got bumped. And and we were going to go in August. So we kind of didn't. Well, one thing was the buffets weren't open. And we were going to stay at a different hotel. But it seems like all the roads lead to um, Suncoast. It's the best area. And the, if this hotel is secure, you don't have to worry people breaking into your hotel room. And uh, what else? Well, he's got the points there, but Boyd Gaming. So Boyd Gaming's got a lot of uh, properties in Las Vegas. Well, most of them in Las Vegas. They have four of them in Louisiana. But I looked them on YouTube. They're not, they don't have a phase. They're real small, not real big towers. The best ones are in... Uh, Las Vegas. Now, in research, uh, they merged with uh, Coast Casinos in 2000, 2004, and uh, so they they got some history with the plaza because uh, Sam Sam Boyd was involved with uh, his partners in the plaza when they when it opened. Uh, so they they were dabbling in different properties and then you, what they do is they sell them to each other like the two main properties in Las Vegas is Caesars Entertainment which is of course Caesars Palace or M Life or MGM so those two companies 
own all the, pretty much all the casinos on the Strip, you know. So, uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be talking about Vegas. I'm not really a gambler. I, it just happens that I'm, I go there, you know. So, um, and this year has been really different because uh, I vowed not to have my uncle drive. So that means either my sister has to drive and it's too far for me to drive. It's 240 miles from where my uncle's house is up to Suncoast, which is really the northern Las Vegas. So it's not the top of the, of the, of the northern Vegas, but it's pretty close. You know, it's extreme western uh, uh, section of Las Vegas. It's kind of nice. You don't have to, it's you're um, kind of like uh, upscale, you know. So it's um, we were able to go there since 2018 because 2017 his player rewards didn't count for Suncoast, but they do they, they have been since 2018. So Whenever we uh, mention that we want to go to a different casino, my uncle says, well, is it Boyd? So it has to be Boyd, because you know, if it isn't Boyd, he sunk a lot of money into lot slot machines, and probably more than what the actual hotels cost. He'd be money ahead if he just paid for the rooms and not gambled, you know? But that's the whole thing of it, you know? So, uh, I'm getting toward, we're at the Sarah Mason, um, spot where the, my haircut's going to be. Let me just show you where this used to be Big Bear. We used to have here Big Bear, Rexall Drugs, and Coronet. And they used to have a photo photo mat drive up where Sam's Pizza is now. So uh, all right, uh, well, I'll have another video in the next, in July sometime. Might be, I'll be in Vegas next time I post one. Okay, from Sarah Mesa, this is Sarah Mesa Bob.